What up, what up, Wheatfield, what it do? Welcome back to the Wheatfield. Welcome to you. This is your girl, La T, here at Terrace and Wheat to Row Show, where you show enough, never know what you're going to get. This right here, we finna clean up it. <laughs> is that right? Yeah. We finna clean up the table a little bit. If you new, hey, welcome to the Wheatfield. Welcome to you, too. What up, y'all, sweet, what it do? Uh, we are a channel messenger. Lie to you again. We message with the big three. Yes, the Alpha, the Omega, our source, the eternal, Lord of all hosts. Yes, the infinite intelligence is Lord, aka the principal thing. Mm -hmm. And the Holy Spirit, the Holy Chi, the breath, and the God body, and the G. What up, y'all? Sweet, what it do? Hey, we growing, y'all. And it's a couple of things to talk about as we put the table away. We got some water. We got our little biscuit. We gonna make. We maybe take a one or two, a few bites of it. We don't know. We'll see how everything is gonna go. This is where testimony needs to roll. So it's a little bit quite different of a to roll show. So uh, we bring the word though. We bring what it is, the real, because it's given to us by the source, the Alpha and Omega, that which called it and that which decreed it. And then the word moved with the breath, the dynamic duo to cause everything to be. And we could read all the words, you see. Yeah. What up, Sasha? She down there swirling around my feet. She always get to swirling and doing her thing when uh, this spirit move in. Because mm -hmm. we do everything in the spirit. We are not religious. We are spiritual. We do everything in the spirit. Eat, drink, speak, everything. I mean, play, skate, whatever. You know, it's all in the spirit, I say. We let the highest lead us and we just be obedient to that. We are willing. We are surrendered joyfully to do a work. For heaven has come to earth to do a work, a work that we've been called into remembrance. And now that we in remembrance, it's time to get it. What up, y'all? Sweet one more again. Y'all, I be seeing so much stuff. First of all, this Saturn retrograde. And there's a whole bunch of stuff coming out, I say. I'm talking about the nasty, the fuckery, the just downright ugly the good the bad and the ugly is all being revealed we see reconciliation things coming together you know what i mean is happening and it might be some stuff that you just didn't know about and it's being revealed it's coming out and a whole bunch of karmics is about to get they just do i was gonna say something else source new uh pulled me back right because the source leads the message steps out in the front expressing your love mm, it's all in love. We say it's, it's love. It is. Light on a voluntary escape. And that's what all of us are doing, Asha. It is. Healing and grief is a part of the thing. And if you are grieving, take time. Give yourself some time. Give time for the grieving. Don't let nobody push you or rush you through your grief process. You at where you at and that's just it. You know, work in the spirit to have your grief relieved because that's really the place where you will receive your comfort, your joy, your real true feeling of connectivity. Remember to have grace and patience with others because they're not going to understand your feelings. they just not. You feel it a special kind of way, a different way, and others not going to understand that. And that's true for all of us because each one of us are unique and we are on our own personal journey, right? And everybody experiences their journey through their own POV. And so for us to give each other compassion and understanding, that's just what it is, my G. Grief is like an ocean. Sometimes it's rough and even overwhelming. And other times, it's calm and peaceful. Again, you're going to experience grief. And it's a spectrum of it. It ain't going to be just no one thing on every single day. You could be in various places in your grief as you move through it, Ashe.
we offer all things to the Omega, the Alpha that called it, the Omega that decreed it, to the intelligence and the breath that is in this God body, to every ancestor that is in creation that is with thee. We offer it up unto all things we wait graciously and gratefully excitedly joyfully to receive that which has been blessed and given on to thee we do the same with what whatever we eat and we are so grateful for this here biscuit because we made it yesterday with the ancestors and the spirit ashe and we did some cute little stuff to it you know just a little butter and cinnamon sauce with some brown sugar and some walnuts you know made it more like pastry kind of instead of just like regular biscuit you know and we made it yesterday so we our abundance from yesterday provides for today having gratitude for all things ashe temperance angel is here from last night and we are surrounded we are like the source is real angels are very real you know it ain't like how they be showing everything in them pictures and all that oh no we oh no you know we have to be placed in a vessel you know so that we can experience we can sense our environment and that's really just the real of it light on a voluntary escape you wouldn't be able to experience the plane without your vessel ashe without these eight wonders that allow you to connect to the plane and to everything in it your intuition your emotions your sensitivities your touch your smell your taste your hearing your sight all of them work together it is an example of the might of the source the Alpha and Omega that called and said, let there be light. And if light is on a voluntary escape, then light has to experience its plain ashe. It has to remain connected to that which is sent, which sent thee, which made thee. There's a connection both to thee. And in order for, again, you to experience your plane, you have to be in a vessel. You're traveling like an astronaut. You have to be in a vessel, in your rocket, right? And the things that we experience is kind of like fuel. We can transmute that energy because everything is energetic, right? Um, resonance, light frequency. Uh, and that frequency is a broad spectrum. It contains everything from one end, the alpha, to the other end, the omega. And we are creation, everything in between. Oh, I'm like, where is the rest of this little bitty deck? Do you want something out of here? And it's a whole bunch of actors and energies, of course, as we know. It's definitely at least three different kinds. It's us that, you know, are called to do, we all have a calling and whether you deny it or not is up to you and what your calling is is different for each one of us right some of us are called to be teachers to be message bringers to be light bearers to be you know protectors watchers you know and some um are called to the other end of the spectrum like they have choice to be able to repent but they have the free will to choose not to and there's many of them that choose not to repent they choose to manipulate and they choose to deceive and there's others that are just here to experience what creation is like to experience self to experience their own light to grow their light to see it to feel light to feel the experience, all of it, whether it's sadness and depression and grief to joy, um, exaltation of your soul to, you know, touch the leaves and hug the trees.
to just go for a swim in the water and to feel it, to have connectivity, to really be aware of it, aware of touching another piece of self in a whole different way. Thank you for touching my nose. Let me know I'm in the right way. You bring it a message so I know it is. I shame. Yeah. Knight of Wands is here in Seven of Cups. Yeah. Knight of Wands is somebody that's fiery and passionate, wanting to go off and do a thing. They're, you know, and Seven of Cups is like options. What do I want to experience? I can, you know, put on a mask and, and be, you know, whatever I want to be. I can be in this snake energy. It could be, you know, lowly and deceiving. I see the dragon wise. I see the diamond. I see this wheat grain, you know, and I see a crown, too. It's all about what you want to experience. Which part of you? What do you want to take the lead and just go do, right? Just go rush off on an escape. And you have everything that you need to get through it, I say. With the Nine of Pentacles, you have everything that you need to get through it. You're independently moving on your own journey, carrying all these things, and you definitely have your spirit with you to talk to you, to guide you, to show you, to teach you, to grow you. And it's all about, again, what you choose to do. Anything else in here? No? Okay. Yeah. Between worlds. You know? Always connected to that. Um, it's not dark, but it is dark matter, as they say it in scientific terms. But I feel the spirit realm, like coming out of consciousness, out of pure potentiality, and coming into the light where you can see it, you can discern it, you can feel it, you can enjoy it, you can uh, enjoy you, to know you, to see you. And that is what being in a whole new life is all about. Can you imagine that? Love, love on a voluntary escape. Your light moving through consciousness, through the ethers, I say. Yeah. It's beautiful. But there are a lot of people, a lot of energies, not just people, but energies that want to hold and hoard right they are master manipulators they know and they have deep knowingness and understanding of the spirit world and cosmic things everything that's in the cosmic consciousness like the cosmic flower they have been around for so long they understand how it is unfolding all of that uh cosmic geometry and metrics and how to work things right and they hoard Right, they want to keep energy onto themselves, power, seeking power, always. And again, in this Saturn retrograde, karma is being revealed for all of this dark dealing. And we see it across tarot land. Anybody that's a true reader, they are offering the truth on what's been going on. They are offering the truth on what's been hidden, on the secrets of what's been going on. Secrets that energies have been doing, secrets um, just being revealed in general. And there's a lot of people that even their channels get targeted. And I didn't really think that that was real, like somebody would really do that. Ace of Wands, like it's a whole project. But to, I don't know if it's, you know, those other energies that don't want karma for their past, you know what I mean? And they target truth speakers, people who speak the truth. And again, you know, you hear people say it and it's like, is that really what people do? Well, why would that be so far, you know, out there to conceive? We're just, you know, where we're at and we're growing but we talk about a lot of deep things, and we don't know why we have been pinpointed at this point, but we can definitely see some trickery. And we've been watching it for a little minute. We've seen things that just don't even make sense. You know, the fact that uh, 
I think one of my videos was labeled that it was up since 1954 and it had like zero views or something like that. Whatever it was, it was weird. And we posted it on Facebook like, what's up with YouTube? YouTube wasn't even a thing in 54 or 57 or whenever it was. It was like, what is that? And then we can see that, you know, the count is off. I can look at just what I posted yesterday and count the views and you know look at how many comments or just definitely the views and um, look at how much time is in each session and quantify about how many watch hours would be added at least on a minimum and how many new views would be on a minimum right and it don't add up the math doesn't math right we have, we posted in the community page, like one video for sure. Um, I looked at it yesterday because I sent it to a friend. We were excited, like 17,000 views, like wow. And then go back today and it said 15.9. How? And so I posted it, I looked at two different screens. One is counting 17K and the other one is counting 15.9 for the same video. Another one. I have to scroll through. I get a comment on one video and I scroll through the whole thing only to find that there's five or six more comments that did not register. It did not reflect. I didn't get the notification. Why? Um, and I posted one like that. Very recent video from last night talking about this coven and what people are doing to target women, unsuspecting women who look like they have privilege and these people are targeting them to steal their assets and hurting people. I mean, making people, I mean, we're not going to talk about it no more. It's down in there if y'all want to watch it. It's just from yesterday. It's not too far down. But there's comments at least three on that video at least three i know one for me and one from some uh, i think one for me and two for others or something like that but in one screen it shows zero comments but when you go into the video and see there's comments there and the comments in the thumbs up is what supports your videos and your content in the algorithm so that they go out into a greater audience why is it that is being restricted we're just where we're at and we're just doing what we do but what is the greater force behind it that's restraining it that's something that make you go hmm so again we've been seeing it and we saw other content creators talk of it they will post pictures of their metrics to show that something's going on, yo. Something's going on with the blockage of freedom of speech and those who seek truth, who speak truth. Like if true truth is your speech, oh, it's being limited. It's being restricted because they don't want it. They don't. It's causing this. Anxiety for those who work in dark energy. They are being shaken and they are doing whatever they can to restrain those who have the courage to stand up, to speak out. And I see the justice card here and the justice card here. It's a justice that's going to come. It's a balancing that is happening to free people so that they can move forward in peace that we can realize that we are whole and we are complete there is nothing broken and there is nothing missing but there are a lot of energies that do not want you to see they don't they don't want the awakening to happen they don't want us to come together in one accord and not just saying that this you know how people put it out there like this whole conspiracy thing i'm not talking about that i'm talking about consciously you can recognize me as you and you as me where we treat each other as a pixel a piece of the alpha and the omega that called and decreed 
the infinite intelligence that works with the breath, the holy chi, moving in tandem to create all things. For we are creation. We are creation. And we are whole. And we are complete. And there's nothing broken. And there's none missing. None. But there are a lot that are lost in a mindset chained, locked in. And the awakening has come to free them. It is now. Two of Cups. For us to come together harmoniously. One accord. Just to realize that we are creation. The only begotten of the Alpha and the Omega, which made all things. Thank you. like I needed to flex a little bit. Flex in the spirit. Yes. Eight of Pentacles. Now is the time to get about the business. Now is the time to get about the business. It is. Ace of Cups. It's time to get about the business. To what? There's no other now but now. Now is the time to get about the business. To do what? What did I say? Awaken from the darkness, I say. That which has had an illusion covering up your eye. Thinking that this is what you see with. When this only sees the illusion that you decided to go play in. King of Cups, delayed by a plan, a plot. Turn this back on emotions, emotionally unbalanced and withdrawn because you have been held up and delayed for so long. But there's a piece of good news coming for you. Emotionally unbalanced, withdrawn, you're back to the flow. Being held up and delayed for so long, you've forgotten to remember what you already know. But there's some good news coming. Just a simple truth to remind you of the vision of the past. This is stability, the four pillars, but I feel past the solid, the solidarity. What you set out to do, or something that you're waiting to come into you, it's an illusion. Hidden by the moon. I feel this Empress energy that's here. Yeah, Empress, Empress, to the fool. These two are creation. I feel kind of alpha energy that can call all things, birth all things, and can create it in any type of way. This is that create anything, potentiality, just, it ain't willy-nilly, but it is the ability to create unrestricted, unyielded. It is limitless. It is limitless. Temperance. 
angels, spirit guides, faith, healing, but anything and everything can be created. And there's an angel who has come to say, I think something new, Ashe, that good news, yeah, to stand up against this. Those who would use their knowledge in a deceitful, dark manner to trick you, to fool you, to manipulate you. But there's a tower coming to that. Again, the time for this How are you working? What are you aligned to? Who are you working with? King of Wands. Could be highly prepared, but prepare for what? Working your ego or working your highest self? It's up for you to choose. You get to do what you want to do. Because this is light on a voluntary escape expedition. You got free will and you get to choose, I say. Two of Wands. Which one are you going to grab hold to? You're prepared. You have the skills. You have the knowledge. You have the spirit with you. You have everything you need to get through. But you get to choose which wand, which staff, you're going to hold on to. We had a reading yesterday where this individual, yeah, strength. Dig into your strength. Spiritual strength. Because it's a whole bunch of strong energies out here. It's a whole bunch of strong manipulation, strong illusions. The matrix. We talk about it all the time, but we don't bring the pieces together. And that's what this space was designed to do, to help bring coherence, cohesiveness to you. To show you, to illustrate how all things work together. Why? Because we are... Later now. Yeah, because we got a Knight of Wands. This is not a good energy. Rushing in, egocentric risk taker, impulsive impulsivity. And it's very, very, very strong. Targeting those that seek. Those unafraid to speak. And not to say that we are always fearless. We're not. Because fear keeps us safe. It tells us when, uh, that's hot. Don't touch that, I say. You learn. And that's a good emotion to discern. It gives you a way to think of a strategy. The best way to do the work, all while protecting your G. Because again, it's a whole bunch of energies waiting. For those that seek and those that speak. I just dropped my glasses on the floor. Hopefully we didn't scratch up the lands because we need them. 
we see a mature man, but man is going through a change. And it's going to unanchor you. This change is going to unanchor you. Change, conflict. And I feel the ones that sit over it. Look at this. Okay. Maturity means that they are studied. You see these books? And they sit with their eye here. Over the globe, residing over, taking control, power over it. How do they take the power? Because they know a lot. They read. They study. They understand again how the cosmics work. The Alpha and Omega. They studied for a long time. Cycle upon cycle upon cycle. But and unanchoring is happening. Mature woman. It's happening. This anchor is being pulled up so that we can sail forward. Following the spirit. A messenger of sort to lead folks to freedom. And I feel like it's multiple birds, and I was feeling the sense that everyone has the ability to follow their spirit to freedom. And I believe that once that message is really solidified in the ether, in the community, that creation will remember that which called thee. <laughs> And I'm looking at the back of this Kipper card, and of course, it's the clown mask, the buffoonery, that which hides behind the illusion, you see. And I can't get, I'm not going to touch it, but just look at it. Feeling like something is always watching on both ends of the spectrum. Now, what happens if one is covered up and all you see is the other, not realizing that there are two? Change. So now this energy feels different. I was just told to change. Alpha and Omega two eyes, one on this side and one on the other. And we talked about a message coming in to free you. Something that's tucked away in a drawer somewhere, hidden from you, stolen, maybe, by an energy that would just come in to sneak the Something small, something unassuming. Three, 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 three on the phone. Three, 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 three. That's six on each side, breaking down the balance. You break the six down, six and six on each side. Three, 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 three. Six and six, balance, right? You break those down as 12. You break 12 down to three. The Holy Trinity. Okay. A message that has been stolen and hid from thee is coming in to release thee. It is. Because there are those who like to dress themselves in ego and retain power in all of those things again. Being well studied of the old way. Yeah. Pretending to be high honor, right, or holding on to power and reputation. But this is what is going to happen because they cannot.
constrain creation. They just can't. There will be a time for creation to realize that it is free. And in my opinion, there's no other time than now, my G. And that is why we are going through the Great Awakening. In Saturn Retrograde, is coming to uh, reveal some things. What did I say? Change in reverse is here. Saturn retrograde is reversing whatever happened, whatever has changed, making things new again. I hear coming to help you, to save you show you how you can save you the not returning to a childlike spirit creation the only begotten of the mother and the father and we got both courtships come out four and four the 44 the gift in between so either this is the coven that is courting you for your gift you know energies that will come against to steal your gift what is in and again to run off with your gift journey take it away from me cause you to move away from self move away from what you know the gift is on a journey it's true but no that's not what I feel I feel something watching and waiting in the background to steal your gift from you because in here is it here? You carry something. A gift. Something that you packed to go along with you on this journey. And this is, I feel, in the spirit. Right? And there's energies that are chasing after it. What you carry. What you're taking along with you on this journey. On this expedition. Light on a voluntary on your journey is it back home yeah but I think that's a mental thing like you know that you're not from where we're at you know there's something in it that makes us question like makes us feel like those that can feel the matrix. You can feel it. You can see it. You know, almost like how Morpheus was telling Neo. Like, you want to know what it is. It's everything. It's everywhere. It is the vessel. It is the bed. It is the clothes. It is your hair. It is what you eat. It is what you taste. It is everything, Ashe. And people have a longingness for home. And... The illusion, oops, they have a longingness for home. We see you working hard to find a pathway, and the pathway is right between hard work, I say, toil and labor. I hear that which decreed, that which called, and that which decreed, and the pathway is everything in between. That's what I just heard, what was just given on to me. And to transform as you're traveling along this pathway from light to dark, and I think on the other side of this light is dark back into the consciousness out of the dark out of the spirit travels to the light right or the light travels 
and back into the dark and back into the consciousness. It's like another rework. Like, I feel like the Alpha and Omega are always working. I hear maintaining balance, the balancing, guiding, revealing, everything that's in between. Everything that's in between. I'm just asking, is there anything else? And I'm being told, no, there isn't. That's enough for the moment. You know. Put those over there. So. We have our piece of abundance. That's represented by our biscuit that we made with the spirit and we are so grateful to have it we are and we're quite excited to eat it <laughs> we are um, and we give thanks to the alpha who called it gave us the inspiration to do it and the Omega decreed it and said yeah snap seal of approval the intelligence in the breath working in the G, you know, helped us to combine the ingredients and have it come to be. Now, we didn't create the ingredients. We didn't, Ashe. But we give thanks to every hand that helped bring it our way, even our own, because we put in some work too, Ashe. We did. And it was the intelligence working through us. I'm not being facetious. I'm not. The intelligence, the source of us is working in all things. And we kind of go through this practice as we acknowledge and offer up the first and the last, the alpha and omega to that which made everything in creation. So we do offer, offer it to the alpha who called it gave us the inspiration, the seeding. We offer it to the Omega who decreed it, stamped, sealed it with its approval. We offer it to the intelligence in the word, the breath of life, the Holy Chi, moving together in tandem, perfect rhythm and in perfect timing to syncopate all of the ingredients that allows it to be. And we even think about self who is obedient and surrendering onto the working so that it can come to be. All of us together creating the matrix, you see, gives us the ability to experience knowing, well, experience all things everything that is, everything that was, and everything that will be. Everything that will be. We received what was with the ingredients, right? We created it and brought it together, our alchemy, and whipped it up. And the will be is the goodness, the blessing that we will receive, the nutrients, the sweetness, the goodness that the G will receive. And it will come back out. We ain't gonna talk about that part because if it's shit, then it's shit. And that's what we call it. Y'all know how it go. But we get to talk about it. And we get to give thanks. And we get to give gratitude. And we get to say thank you. And we get to receive it, and just for what we have received, even if it's just this little bit, right? And we have gratitude for it. Leftovers. Think about it. To be so blessed to have leftovers enough for the next day. And whatever you create today is just more abundance, Asha. You know, like, I have the ability and the resources to do more. 
And that is a blessing. It is more than sufficient to meet the need. More than sufficient. We overflow. And what we overflow, we have the ability to share with other selves so that we can unite in harmony and realize that we are whole. We are whole. We are complete. There's nothing broken and there's nothing missing. And in that spirit, I give you my charity. I give you my service and I do it gleefully. Let all of creation come and eat with thee. You called out. So glad for your degree and your approval. The intelligence, what really did that? And the breath, who can't do nothing without it. Creation, who that is with me. Because many of our ancestors didn't get the chance to experience such a thing. And to honor See guys, we had a quick interruption. My phone is on do not disturb, so no call should come through. But we got a call come in and cut the end of our tribute to our ancestors off. Kawinky dink. Hmm. Anywho. Um, and it's mighty funny that the it was a spam or scam likely or something to the sort. Or no, it was the trash company saying that it was going to be an interruption and the trash being picked up because of Independence Day. You could take that for what you want, I say. But I don't dismiss anything that happens in my readings. So, in short, we will wrap because we never know what they're going to come back. They always be brewing up some sort of crap. You guys will see all across, I believe, the space of karmics receiving their just due. Because that's just the space that we're in. It is time. The awakening is happening. And people are understanding and realizing who they are and where they are. Where they are. And to bring ourselves to wholeness, to goodness, the Alpha and Omega and, ev and understanding everything that's in between, the intelligence that is in you to tell you your genesis should you seek it. It is not on the outside, it is within. In the breath, the breath in your God body, breathing, you use them to in tandem and it will get you through anything. Your whole experience, light on a voluntary escape. And for that, I tell you that I love you. Just like that which called us, that which created us, created all things, the Alpha and the Omega, the Lord of all hosts, the Lord of creation. Experiencing itself through everything. To the next now, y'all, with your girl, Lati, just a pixel, just a piece. That's it, a vessel surrendered onto this work that was called and decreed me. To the next now, y'all, I shake.